So I'm Tom Bradby and I'm here in Waterstones to talk about some of the books that have inspired me over the years. And I have to begin here. Gerald Seymour, Harry's Game. I mean, it's a great, obviously. But I think Gerald in general, and this book in particular, was what convinced me that you could be a journalist and a thriller writer. It has such incredible texture, such incredible research. You feel like you're on the streets of Belfast. That is, of course, where I began my reporting career, much as Gerald did. So he's truly been an inspiration to me. And I would say one thing, if you're ever thinking of writing a thriller, it's always good to start with a book that you think works perfectly. Break it down, see how it works. That's what I did with Harry's Game, and that's how I got started. <laughs> so all right, I had the ambition, I had the wish to want to write a book. But where do you start? How do you get any good? I was very, very fortunate uh, to end up with a brilliant agent called Mark Lucas. But he got somewhat irascible, shall we say politely, at my ability to deliver a kind of lovely idea, you know, an MI5 agent running a woman informer in the IRA and the intensity of that relationship. But the quality fell far short of what he wanted in many, many drafts. And my God, did I write a lot of them. So he kept on asking me to come back and read this book, which I must have done at least six times in the course of writing that novel, and have done so many, you know, much more since. Thomas Harris's The Silence of the Lambs. If you ever want to know about writing thrillers, it's all in here. Perfectly stru structured, particularly in the way the political context puts pressure on the lead character, Clarice Starling, to really move on and solve the case. It's just the most beautifully, most brilliantly constructed thriller I've ever read. And when it comes to thrillers, if you don't get your mechanism right, your engine right, you can write an awful lot of drafts without any decent conclusion. And I know, because I have. So when Mark, my agent, was done making me read Silence the Lambs about 400 times, um, he needed further things with which to instruct me. This led to presumed innocent. Now, along with Silence of the Lambs, I think this really is one of the best thrillers ever written, partly, again, because the political context and the way the thriller engine, if you like, is woven into it is so brilliantly, so subtly done, quite apart from the fact that Scott Turow, just in terms of his prose, is the most wonderful writer. The other point is it has a brilliant ending. He conceals it in an amazingly clever way, and you get to the anything, I really should have seen that coming, but I didn't. It's something I've thought about a lot. Quite often you start writing a novel, you have a great idea, but you haven't quite sorted the ending. I think a lot of thriller writers, no names, no pack drill, fall victim to that. So it's really important to have an end that works, and this just does brilliantly. And finally, as we still weirdly like to say in television, I come to Berlin Game. Now this predates really my instruction from my agent Mark. It's just a book I absolutely loved growing up that so perfectly captures the atmosphere of the old Cold War for me, the greyness of it, the sense of not knowing what is truth and what is falsehood. Um, something really that I've drawn on a lot in my writing over the last year or two. This to me is a classic and I draw a direct line between that and the inspiration for this Secret Service, which is my new book just out, which I guess really tries to capture the atmosphere of the new Cold War, the Russians trying to undermine democracies all over the West quite successfully, uh, it has to be said. Obviously the idea here is simple, if you were the MI6 agent who happened to know um, that the next British Prime Minister is probably a Russian spy, what on earth uh, would you do? A tiny bit complicated. So I've really tried to draw on all of those things that I just mentioned, the political context, the ending, the thriller structure, the characterization. Those are the writers I've really drawn on. I hope you enjoy the result.